Some Calgary tweens and teens getting a one-of-a-kind chance to speak up about a very real problem plaguing their generation. The youth telling a Senate committee how they've been hurt by bullying. Jill Croteau reports. I know that girls will do anything to stay on top of the food chain. They are very personal stories. You start beating yourself up and start believing what the bully told you is true. Grade 8 girls being vulnerable and honest. I've been called every name in the book anonymously online. People have gone so far as to tell me to kill myself. Bravely sharing in front of their peers and a room full of politicians. All those messages point out all the things I'm already insecure about. And little by little, it really started to get into my head and caused me to do some crazy things to myself. This is an historical moment. These teens are the very first students in the country to be invited to present to a Senate committee on human rights. They constantly talk about each other behind their backs, making fun of each other and judging constantly. They hope their words will influence government decisions on cyberbullying. Well, I just kind of hope that they think about this as a more serious issue, as this is something that really, really affects the lives of young Canadians. It's important that we weigh in because they don't know what it's like. Even as they make their powerful presentations, their peers are connected to technology on Facebook, tweeting and texting. Their social lives are dictated by cyberspace. So it's no wonder their voices are even more effective. They've never not known that there was this thing called the internet. Uh, it's like the ether, it's like the air that they breathe. And yet as powerful and as exciting and as positive as all these technologies are, the reality is we have young people losing their lives because of this issue. And that's very real. And they don't take the privilege of this experience lightly, knowing the gravity of what people say can really change things. Thank you for the honor of presenting to you today, and I hope you take action on this very serious subject. Jill Crotel, Global News. Hard copies of their presentations will now be delivered to the Senate for further consideration and review. A state-of-the-art tool in the fight against cancer and other diseases. AHS unveiling a new scanner today that will change the way diagnoses are made. How it works coming up.